um, at the age of 42 when I finally decided to get help and stop this whole self-injury thing um, and to start working towards a healthy lifestyle and a healthier mental wellness, mental well-being, um, I realized at that point that I needed to make better choices for myself, so I didn't need to be on medication. But some people do, and yeah. there's no shame in that. There's no shame in no, that. No, there's not. No. No. Um, it's like whatever you need to do for, you know, if you're a survivor out there and you're listening to us talking here, and I know Lee will, be, Lee will be talking too, but if you're listening, you know, there's no shame in any of this stuff. No. Because the shame, the shame does not belong to us. The shame, especially if you were abused, the shame belongs to the abuser, not yes, to the victim. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you do need medication or you know, something like that, um, so that you can have a good life. There's no shame in that. Uh, no. That's great. Or if you do need to see a therapist or a counselor and not your group for you, whatever you need to do, whatever we need to do or I need to do, so that I can have a good life and be mentally sound and mentally well, that's what I need to do. I started to work on a lot of stuff uh, at the age of 42. When I started my healing journey, and I mean, yeah, I had to do all that stuff, go through and look at the issues and what had caused me to feel the way that I did, and you know, really delve into it. I did a lot of work. I mean, it's taken me years and years to do this. Hopefully, it wouldn't take somebody that long, but it did take. Sometimes it does. I mean, it takes as long as it does. So there, there's no know. there's no limit on the amount of time that you can take to heal. I mean, it can be yeah. short time or it can be long term. It, it's whatever works best with you, how you feel, and how you recover. Yeah. That's right, because we're all different. Yeah, 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 everybody's different. And a lot of people, they put a time limit on something, or they time stamp it, and it's like, you, you can do that, but there's a lot of people that, you know, it takes longer to heal, or even death and grief. Um, in death, there's yeah. people that they take death really easy, and then there's people like me that like it take it takes a long time for me to be comfortable with understanding that someone that I love is now gone, and there and there's no shame in that. No, that's right. That's exactly.